Hey y'all, Justin McKay, Catfish. Well, I'm out here on the Tennessee River today and I'm getting set up to do some bank fishing for catfish. I've actually fished out of the kayak the last couple days and logged a lot of hours uh, during that time. So my body's just not feeling like sitting in the kayak all day today. So I thought I'd come out here and access an area on the shoreline here. And I'll just kind of show you, there's a little kind of dug out area here, I guess you could see from just shore erosion and from where, where the water is lowered for winter drawdown that I can access with the kayak and basically I'm just going to be fishing a main channel ledge. Uh, I'm going to use my surf casting rods, the Akuma Longitude, and be able to cast my baits far enough out that I can get out there and get over the drop and get down there on that, that channel edge here for the main channel. So uh, that's going to be the plan for today. Now, <laughs> bait today is going to be sparse. I have one frozen skipjack in the cooler left over from yesterday's trip that I was going to use up today. But my plan when I left the house was to get some fresh shad. I was going to net some. But the first place I went, I would planned on launching my kayak in the back of a creek a few miles upstream from here, netting me some shad, and then going out to the main channel, going upstream, and hitting another area of a main channel ledge up there. But uh, when I got up there, there were cops everywhere. I mean, they had that place shut down. There must have been something going on. But... I couldn't even, there wasn't even an area for me to pull off to be able to go walk the bank and be able to net shad. So I don't know what was going on up there, but it prevented me from accessing that creek. So I turned around, come back downstream, used a different launch, and uh, I threw the net a few times, but I didn't get any good shad. I got a bunch of those tiny one-inchers, but I did not get any, any of any size worth using. So currently, right now, I have one frozen skipjack. That's all the bait I have, but I do have my ultralight rod with me, and I'm going to just kind of walk the shoreline here after I get those those uh, pieces of skipjack cast out, and we'll see if we can't get some bluegill here along the shore. And uh, I may throw the net a few times here along the shoreline too, and just see if I can't get some shad. But uh, if I don't, we have trouble today as far as bait goes. But you know, it's another beautiful day out here, and uh, I do have that one bait, so we're gonna make the most of it. I'm gonna cast them out there, and uh, hopefully, we'll hook into a big catfish today. Let's get to it. All right, y'all, there's the first bait right there, just a big hunk of skipjack. It's already thawed out, so it's gonna be bleeding good down there. Give it a sling. Get it out there a good ways, and we'll put that headpiece on next. All right, and there's that bait there, the big ugly the skipjack head. My favorite bait. I'm gonna give it a toss here too. And there it goes. All right, we fishing. Y'all, I'm hooked up with something here on the ultralight. It ain't no bluegill, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, it's a bass. Let's see what it is here. I think it's a small mouth. I didn't get a good look at it there, but... Yeah, a little small mouth. How about that? That's a fun, fun catch there. He won't be big enough there for me to use him as bait, but... He was a fun catch anyway while I sat here and wait on these cats. Fish on. Fish on. That's on that head. How'd you like that Catfish Dave hook set right there, man? I'm getting better at it. <laughs> I'm getting better at them hooks at y'all. Can't tell how big this fish is yet. It's kind of coming at me here. Uh oh. Okay, I thought he got me hung in something down there. There's a lot of rocks on this bank and logs and stuff down there. I've done a lot of ultralight fishing down here along this shoreline and I've got a lot of jigs down there. Oh, I've probably got 20 pounds of lead just in my ultralight jigs. <laughs> I'm 
anxious to get this one up here. He's got a good bend in that rod. Tell you what, I'm still loving these Okuma Longitude rods, man. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. That is a good fish. He's kind of making a ruckus right here. Yeah! I'm gonna try to get him up here quick, that way we can get that headpiece back. Look at that, man. Look at that. <sighs> yeah, buddy. Ooh, that's a good fish, man. That's a good fish. Alright guys, there it is man, big blue, ate that skipjack head, he must have been cruising up and down that ledge right there and found it. Look at that, I got this board here, it's measuring board, we'll throw him on it. Alright y'all, oh, washed a little bit of that blood off of him, he's got some bleeding coming from his mouth but it's just there where I hooked him he's not oh goodness goodness let set that one down I guess I'd set my camera down while I was fooling with that other fish and this one just took off man this one's on the body section here I left that other fish sitting there on the ground. This one here I don't think is as big. But that's exciting though, man. That's two fish just boom, boom. I'm gonna try to land this one here pretty quick because I don't want to leave that other one out of water very long. I hate doing that. Oh, man. That one, look at that. That bait's been down there, channel catted, chewed up, and the hook had kind of come undone there. And channel cats will do that. That fish, I fought him up all the way up here almost to the bank. He was never hooked. Jeez. <laughs> all right, let's get back over here and deal with this one. All right, let's send him home. Here he goes, guys. Here he goes. See you, buddy. You were a lot of fun. There he goes. He's ready to go. Woo! That fish there was a little over 42 inches, about 42 and a half. So, good fish. I got that head back, that skipjack head. So that's good news. He's only had one. The other fish there that didn't hook up, that bait's ruined. The channel cat's been down there pecking on it. And uh, so I'm going to cut another piece of that skipjack, throw it out. So I'll have a head and another piece of skipjack. And, once the, my next body section of skipjack's done, that's going to be it for that. I do have a couple bluegill there in a bucket though that I've caught on the shore here while I've been waiting on the fish to come, the catfish to come along. So we'll throw out bluegill once the skipjack's gone. That head there, you can see the channel cats have chewed it a little bit, not too bad. It's still bleeding though. It's in good shape overall. We're going to launch it back out there, man. It's a make do with what we got kind of bait day. Let it fly, man. You can cast a long way with these surf rods. Love it. And there's another piece of skipjack. Just got that on the Carolina rig there. 10 aught must have demon circle hook. That's a four ounce egg sinker there. Just a, you pretty much have to have a heavier sinker with these surf rods just to kind of be able to load up the rod, get better casting distance. Where I'm fishing at today, I don't need that heavy a sinker. I could get by with a two ounce, but these rods just don't cast the two ounce very well. Oh, I got a fish on here. This rod tip has been wiggling. It's not enough to really engage the clicker at all. So it's just kind of been dancing. 
And I thought, I'm just going to pick up on it and see if there's a fish on there. And if not, I'll have to switch out my bait, I'm sure, because I figured it'd probably just been munched on. But we got one on. Curious to see what it is. I don't think it's very big. Oh, no, he's got me hung. Okay, there he comes. We making progress now. Getting wrapped up in something down there, but he's come free. Let's get him on up here on the shore here. A little blue cat. All right, y'all. Fish number two, just a small blue cat, but it's action. I'm happy to get him. We'll let him go. See if we can get another. See you, man. We'll do it again someday when you're even bigger. There you go. All right, guys, the sun's getting ready to go down. I've got my light set up here so that if any more action happens, I'll be able to, to film it and get it all on video there. Um, hoping, man, that first fish I got was a whopper, and I am hoping some more fish that size or bigger work their way along this ledge here this evening. Hopefully, as the sun goes down here, it's going to trigger some action and get these fish a little bit more active. But, uh, you know, as far as the bait goes, I'm pretty much running on fumes here. I've got what's on my rods now, and I've got one little bluegill left here in the bucket. I have thrown the ultralight here all up and down the shore, and just ain't really been able to get much going. Two bluegill and uh, one smallmouth bass that was too short to keep. So we're just gonna go with it, you know? That's all you can do is just use the bait you got and take what the river gives you. And that's what the river has given me today. So we're gonna go with it, but I'm probably gonna fish here, you know, assuming that this bait lasts, I'm probably gonna give it till, I don't know, a couple hours after dark and just see if some more fish get active and make their way up and down this ledge here where my baits are at during that time. But uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Hope another big one comes along. Look here, y'all, look here. I can't zoom in on the camera. Y'all won't be able to see it. Look at them. Look at them dang deer. That's a whole herd of them. They spying on me trying to figure out where I'm catching these fish at. I ain't safe anywhere, y'all. Here comes another one spying on me. Look at that. This is about ridiculous, y'all. This is, this is ridiculous. I got deer out here spying on me now trying to figure out where these fish are being caught at. I got a fish on here. <laughs> Didn't even know it, man. Didn't even know it. Y'all, I got a fish on this rod here. I just reeled in that other bait there to check. Of course, my skipjack head was gone, so I put that bluegill head on there, and I went to reel this one in, and I got a fish on here. Didn't even know this bait had been hit, man. He must have just been sitting down there with it. Look right there. That's a flathead. That's a flathead. He's just been down there sitting there with that bait. <laughs> the surprise fish never knew who was there i was literally just going to reel in my bait and check it make sure i still had bait on there and it took off on me when i started reeling <laughs> man that's awesome get in there that's a that's a pretty nice flathead this is a nice surprise there man nice surprise all right let's let him go i'm gonna put this other piece of bluegill on there we'll throw it out See you, buddy. There he go, man. He's ready to get out of here. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm getting ready to pack up and head on out of here. The action today was pretty limited, to say the least. I did not get many bites at all. But the fish I got were pretty good quality. I mean, especially that blue. That blue was over 42 inches. I mean, that was a, a stud of a fish. And it was a lot of fun to catch. And then that surprise flathead was a pretty nice fish too. So uh, I'm thankful for the fish I got. You know, days like today, limited action, but good quality. 
those kind of trips add up over the course of the year and you get to the end of the year and you look back and you know that's oftentimes where a lot of the big fish come from or days like today so uh, i'm thankful to get it and this weather out here was phenomenal today i mean any day like this in december is a is a welcome day i will take it and glad i could take advantage of it out here uh this evening it's supposed to turn cold here again in a couple days but I had a good day out here, uh, just sitting here on the river bank and enjoying myself. So anyway, guys, I'm going to get these lines reeled in, get everything packed up and take it to the house. Hope you all enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next